How are you all? If you're catching this live, drop me a comment. Let me know how your day is going. If you're catching this as a replay or on YouTube, just hashtag the replay for me. Let me know you're here. And at the end, I would love to know what you think about this topic, okay? This is a topic, actually, I truly love to talk about. I've had a lot of people ask me about, and I want to make sure I have this content directly for you about it out there. Um, but it won't be the last time you hear me talk about it either. Um, and so if you have questions, I welcome them. If you have commentary, I welcome that as well. Um, this is a topic that I can speak to what works for me and for our family, but I also know that this could work for pretty much anyone. I, I feel kind of confident saying everyone even because it's, customizable. So what I speak to might be my personal experience, but you could still walk down a similar path to what I'm going to talk to you about today and have a totally different outcome suited to your needs, right? And that's why I like what I'm going to talk to you about today, which is generating an income while healing. Um, so I think that's important to, to word it that way because when you're healing, uh, your life ultimately should reflect that and should be producing healing for you. And if it's not, I challenge you to reevaluate some things. You might have to, you know, right? We all have to at times reevaluate some things. So, um, I'm coming at this from a place of what is in your best interest for your healing. But I also recognize like people need an income often to afford some of the healing things, correct? <laughs> like money is not a bad thing. Money is what drives a lot of our lives and that's okay. Let's talk about how to generate it and not sacrifice our best healing self for that purpose, right? Okay. So saying that, I'm going to talk um, about multiple streams of income multiple streams of income, because here's the thing for some of us, it might be working outside the home for a long time. I did work outside the home and was still able to heal during that. I was able to create a way to do it and continue to heal. But for some of us, that might just not be reality for right now, or it might be a very limited reality. So <clears throat> I'm going to talk about mostly what working from home options look like, but I'm not dismissing working outside the home. I want you at the end of the day to be able to do what you're passionate about and you shouldn't have to sacrifice that or your healing to generate an income. I challenge you if this strikes a nerve or this feels like um, impossible to you when you start hearing me talk, or if you feel like you immediately have comebacks or like defenses for why this doesn't work for you. I just ask you to think about why you feel that way. Um, I'm not saying you're right or wrong, but I do always ask us all. And I hold myself to this too, as part of our accountability and our best healing to evaluate our mindset at every step of the way as well. So if you're not open to what I have to say today, I ask you to have a very good discussion with yourself about why. Almost be able to explain to yourself why without it being excuses, because that doesn't count. Excuses are just usually at least poor mindset. They're a sign of mindset work needing to happen. So. We all do. We all make excuses some of the time, at least, but reasons and excuses can get blurry, <laughs> the line between the two. So just, I just encourage you to think about that because sometimes when I have told people about this as an option, I'm not saying this is the only answer, but this kind of thinking as an option, um, they don't even want to hear it. They're immediately defensive about it. And, um, so I'm just calling out the elephant in the room ahead of time and asking you to be at least open-minded about how this might be able to work for you. Because like I said, this could work for anyone. This just because I have chosen to explore multiple income streams in this way, doesn't mean it's the only way, but I do want to talk to you about that. So part of our dream and what we have felt as a family would be in our best healing interest for years 
is to be entrepreneurial, to work for ourselves. And we are now, as of last October, almost full, for a full year, a fully entrepreneurial family. Isn't that cool? My husband started his own business a couple years ago. So he has worked for himself for a few years now. And I have been, well, I, I, I my background is um, nursing. So while I was working in the hospital as a nurse, um, both at the bedside and in a position, not at the bedside, but clinical, like <laughs> clinical mentally, uh, triaging type of position, I had also been working on building my own home-based business, businesses as well. For a time, I was focused on one income stream from home. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Doing one thing really well speaks volumes. But I also think that I have learned in the last year that there is actually value to be had in multiple income streams. And that also can be done well. And strategically, if you're working in your zone of genius, I'm going to call it your best self, where you are thriving the most, um, where you are living up to your highest level of performance and you are living in your highest self really um so i don't advocate for multiple income streams that are just haphazard poorly done not fulfilling you not furthering your healing okay if they're causing stress and strife and they're not serving you your family your highest purpose um as a being on this earth then I don't recommend multiple income streams in that, in that sense. Okay. So let me be really clear on that up front. So what happened to me last summer that actually pushed it over the edge that I was able to come home from my, um, at the time, part-time job at the hospital to come home and work from home full-time, although I don't work full-time hours from home, um, was this one particular business coach that I happened to meet. And I have no problem telling you about her because actually you can get in to see a lot of what she offers for free. Um, so I'm not asking you to go spend a dime. I recommend everyone check her out if this interests you. But again, there are other options out there. My business co coach is Martha Krejci. And um, I can share in the comments her free group that has the starting points for generating multiple income streams for free. Okay. So Sure, she has paid coaching programs. I have done some of her paid stuff, not even everything, to be honest with you. I have been able to utilize her model. She is a marketing strategist coach by trade, and this is what she does. And her basis is in, this is why I think she's for everyone. Her basis is in heart-centered sharing and her goal and dream. And this is no joke and not like, like, oh, I dream of this. No, this is like, I have a dream, we're doing it, is to end world poverty by enabling families to work from home successfully and from a place of maximum service and maximum um, potential. Again, why I said, if this isn't aligning, if you're doing things that aren't aligning with your highest self, then reevaluate. <laughs> and she would say the same thing. So her coaching is based on what you align with and what makes you, you and what you are gifted in. So that's why I mean, this is totally customizable. I can't tell you exactly what to do, except that I encourage you to at least check out Martha and what she's offering. If you need a place to start. So, um, our dream was to become a fully entrepreneurial family, but I got to tell you, it wasn't something that I was like, we are working to this goal every single day, ah, like hardcore all the way. It kind of happened as it was in the back of our minds, my husband and my our minds to um, achieve it. I don't know that I fully believed it would ever happen because it took a little time to get there. I'm not gonna lie to you, but also we didn't have the setup in place initially to make it happen faster. And now that I know this setup would have worked faster for us if we had done it. But we got there. We got there last October. It'll be one year in October that we are fully entrepreneurial. I work from home. My husband has his own business. And we couldn't be happier. We are just not interested in working for other people, at least for now, uh, maybe forever. I firmly feel like that is a forever choice for me. I'm not saying it's right or wrong. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with working outside the home. Like I said, if that is, if there is something where your passion lies outside the home, by all means, go to town, but maybe be open to multiple streams of income so you're not limited to one stream that might have limitations for your family. Um, so 
we wanted this dream because we wanted to be able to homeschool in a certain way. We wanted to be able to do some homesteading in our suburbia world. We wanted to live frugally and intentionally. We wanted our health to be a priority and to have that, we felt like we needed to have a home base set up. Um, so we put our priorities where we wanted our dreams to head, if that makes sense. Um, it's totally doable. It's a baby step kind of thing. This wasn't something we just did this past year. It's something we've been working on. We've been married uh, 13 years. <laughs> it's something that we've been working on for 13 years together as a family. Um, and it shifted and evolved because of course we didn't have kids right away. We weren't even treating my line properly right away, right? So as our health became more of a priority, some of our other priorities shifted around that because to us, health is a maximum priority. So um, anyway, part of our goals around being an entrepreneurial family are also to live debt free, which we are always constantly working on. Um, I'm not saying we have zero debt. Uh, we do have a little bit of credit card debt that resulted, um, largely from our healthcare needs as we got our feet under us with Lyme and then multiple kids having Lyme. Uh, we are chipping away at that. Um, and other than that and our mortgage, we are now debt free. Again, something we've chipped away at cars, school loans. Um, we only have minimal amounts of credit cards, so that is very limited. Um, yeah. So again, not telling you what to do, but telling you where our goals lie, lay as a family. So you guys can start there if you haven't even started there, uh, whatever your family unit looks like right now, that consider, that is part of the consideration of where you're headed if you want to generate an income and heal. You have to decide where your priorities lie and you can't do that without involving your family unit. What, again, whatever that looks like. Maybe it's just you and that, that works and you get to decide. But if you are married or have kids or have partners, significant others, um, or if you're you know involved intimately with other household members or friends at the level of family, whatever that looks like, they all are involved in your decisions and your pursuit of income streams potentially involved. Okay. Um, the biggest thing for me to tell you is that no matter what you choose to do and whether or not you utilize Martha's teaching and training or look into her at all or whatever income streams you choose to do from home or outside the home, your mindset still matters. I say this about healing too. It's the primary source of you moving forward in healing and in income generating. Um, abundance over lack is what you want to work on with your mindset. And we all need to work on it. Trust me. You might think, oh yeah, yeah, I have an abundant mindset. I don't live in a poverty mindset or a lack of mindset. I guarantee you in some way you do, because we all do. I still do in a lot of ways. And I've been working hard on this for actually years, um, more, mostly more so in the last year and a half, but it's a constant work in progress in your mind, okay? To battle things you've been taught, things that you've lived with in your past, truths you think you know <laughs> that may or may not actually be true. So I encourage you first to look at that. And Martha's training actually does indeed address mindset over anything else first and foremost, um, as you get into her trainings more and more too, especially. She even has whole business coaching just on business mindset coaching, um, which is really cool, I think, because you cannot underestimate the power of mindset, uh, which is why I asked you in the very beginning to consider yours as you go through hearing this talk. Um, if you're uncomfortable with the topic of mindset or abundance or money, I invite you to sit with that. Ask yourself what deeper work needs to be done there because there's nothing wrong with money, abundance, or achieving things. It's how you view it at the end of the day. Um, so between my husband and myself, we have multiple streams of income as a family. And that's hugely beneficial to us actually because First of all, it's not limiting, like if one income stream were to go south, we have others to fall back on, right? Uh, that's just the practicality of it, but also it's hugely fulfilling for us and it actually really benefits benefits the world around us because we are living in our highest potential to put these income streams out there to the world. We are able to show up as who we are, as who we are created to be and in our gifting. And that's what I mean about showing up in our zone of genius. And this applies to my husband and myself as well, because we both, um, 
whether intentionally or haphazardly ended up in that place. And that is for the better. That's where you should be generating your income from, from a place of your zone of genius. And most importantly to us, it comes from a place of maximum service within that zone of genius. So we feel like we are able to best serve our worlds around us and serve together as a husband wife team and serve together as a family unit. Even though we have small kids, they still are a part of what we're doing. We feel like we are in a very fulfilling place with our service mindset as well, which can always grow and change and develop. And we want that, but that is a primary focus for us, heart centered service in what we're doing. Um, so that as we're generating income, it's coming from a place of like, it's coming from the best possible place, right? We're serving our people what we need to be compensated on. We are getting compensated on and we are putting out to the world more than we are even receiving in a sense of like heart centered sharing, right? Anyone can do that though. Anyone can do that based on your gifting and your abilities that you're already given. It doesn't matter your degrees or your certifications or letters behind your name. It doesn't matter if you like public speaking or not, if you're introverted or extroverted, your personality type, none of that really matters at the end of the day, because there's something for everyone in multiple streams of income. So I, again, can happily point you to resources to help you do this. If this is something you're interested in, some of what I do involves affiliates for things. Um, I do have affiliation with some MLM stuff. I know that network marketing is not for everyone, but that is part of a small piece actually of income streams that I do because of what I use and love. I don't affiliate with just anybody. Um, I'm very strategic about that. The primary source of what I do is centered in holistic healthcare because that is what I was created to do. Um, the other income streams bolster that for me. So coaching, educating, courses, um, putting out, um, multiple streams of income within that realm is my primary focus. Uh, and I do what works for me, but what serves my people too. So there's a variety of things out there, um, in that sense for right now, more coming always, uh, cause that brings me great joy and life and purpose and meaning, right? Um, I also, we also, you can consider streams of income, other things financially, like certain kinds of investing and cryptocurrency and things in that realm. Um, you can make things and sell them like Etsy. Hello. Uh, there's lots of ways to be a maker in a multiple streams of income kind of environment. Uh, the bottom line is, and I have done many different things over the years in most of those realms, actually all of those realms actually. So, uh, our focus as a family is right now, four to five strong streams of income. And that's what we're working on. Um, personally, just so you know, to be transparent with you guys. So, um, but again, there's room for growth. There's room for adjusting. And that is at the current time of this video, what's going on. Uh, but we will always be a multiple streams of income family in a strategic heart centered zone of genius type of way. So, this we can all do from home. But like I said, a stream of income could be working outside the home, um, for me or for my husband, if that presents itself as in our best interest and aligning with what we desire to do right now, that's not the case. But I, like I said, I'm a nurse who's to say, I won't go back into something in that career field outside the home too. Um, utilizing my education and background at home is one thing for right now, but the cool thing about being an entrepreneur is your flexibility to do what you need to do or want to do and what serves your people. Again, I'm going to put information about Martha in the comments because she has been the game changer for our family and really helping me especially get my blinders on to really focus on exactly what I've talked to you about today so that I had all those pieces in place to make the chain on the bike kind of work for me and the bike move forward. Uh, that's one of the many Martha analogies, um, along this path. So, um, I will say this, uh, because I do have multiple affiliate opportunities, um, which if you're catching the replay may vary depending on, um, 
when you're catching this video, but as of right now, I have a few different affiliate opportunities and some referral uh, programs that I'm a part of. And I just want to say that up front, I am honest about that with people. I don't hide that from people, but as a disclaimer that I feel is fair in this video, my family is blessed by that as one aspect of our streams of income. Um, and we thank you if that ever ends up happening that I refer or act as an affiliate to you for a program or an offering or a product. Um, but regardless of that, um, I won't not share options with you. I would rather share and let you make that decision and just know that we are blessed and thankful for um, our world being part of our affiliate sharing or referral program sharing at any given time. So just so you know, as that disclaimer, before I wrap up this video, we are grateful for you if you share in that income stream with us. At the end of the day, you deserve health and the choice uh, to do what's best for your health always okay and money doesn't have to take away your power to choose needing more having not enough so to speak no lack no lack of mentality right but feeling the pressure just for money should not determine your health outcomes there are options okay you have options to choose you either own that money has power over you or you choose not to own that you get to accept that or reject that as your truth for your healing all i can say is that working on my own terms in the way that i need to be to serve my people is healing it's part of the healing it furthers um if sorry for the notifications it furthers my healing goals and it for sure is furthering other goals we have too it's bigger than just income at the end of the day and that is a beautiful place to be in and i want that for anyone that needs that or wants that too i'm here for it i'm here to cheer you on there are options okay working from home can look like doing exactly what you were created to do and using your gifts and abilities in really strategic and out of the box sometimes ways to generate income to further your healing and to serve your people in a very, not just effective, but a very heartfelt and fulfilling way for everyone, you and them. So I would love to see that for all of you, <laughs> for all of you. It would be so fun to be in this together, um, doing what we love, doing what we love, right? All right, you guys, let me know what questions you have check out Martha in the comments again if you especially if you don't know where to start or you are like what does this even mean for me or what does this look like for me it looks like you finding out exactly what your purpose is tailoring that mindset to it honing in on who the people you are maximum serving are and going from there being as creative as you can be within that space that's what it looks like all right, let's talk if you have more questions. Cheers to healing and not letting anything stop it.